All right, again, thanks to everybody that came out. Um, I mean, that's a, <clears throat> that's a tough, tough, uh, tough way to lose a ball game. Really proud of our kids again. I mean, they keep putting forth incredible efforts on the field um, all the way to the end. Um, you know, I hurt for our players just because of the effort and the exertion they put out there today to find a way to be up towards the end and then fought all the way till you know, the last play of the game, trying to find a way to win it. So uh, we'll have to get them rounded back together and get ready to go next week. Justin, second time in the last minute like that, how, how do you – what do you say to a team that sort of had its heart ripped out like that twice this season? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's three times. I mean, it's West Virginia, Notre Dame, and Syracuse. So, um, you know, they, they have to believe that they're going to get paid off for the effort they're putting in. Um, they have to believe that, you know, it's a test, you know, to see how long they can hold the rope and how long they can continue to put that effort out there, believing that they're – they're doing it for the right reasons and, and going to find a way to to uh, to get rewarded. You know, we desperately want them to get rewarded, and you know we've been really, really close um, three three separate times. And that last play, um, what happened? I mean, it, was, it looked like they ran five wide. I mean, was the safety late getting on that side, or just was on the other side covering? What happened? Kind of how that Schrader's touchdown throw um, unfolded. Um, I don't know if like you asking me to to say that the safety should be there. Or, I mean, he threw a a go route that they caught. I mean, I don't know that I'm going to sit in here and say it's somebody's fault. I mean, the guy made an incredible throw, got hit right as he threw it, and dropped it right in there. And how tough was he? Uh, I mean, third downs, fourth downs, he seemed to kind of escape pressure a bunch. Uh, that last conversion on fourth down, he did the same thing. I mean, was that kind of the, the difference in the game? Yeah, he made a bunch of plays with his feet. Um, I don't know what his rushing yards were, but he seemed to have uh, really timely plays, third and fourth down, um, you know, one, one third and 12 or 13 that – you know, I feel like we had him hemmed up, and he's a big, big, good athlete. In terms of the offense, I know the focus was running the ball today, but um, in terms of not getting that kind of production from the passing game, game after game, is it sustainable to try to run the ball like that? Because teams will just, you know, lock that up. I mean, how do you, you know, what's the urgency level here like with this passing game still kind of stuck um, and neutral? Well, I mean, the quest is for us to be efficient throwing the football and be able to run the ball. I mean, I think that's where we've got to be. And we were more efficient today than we've been. Certainly we can we can get better. Yeah, Justin, the season high running, running uh, game today. Were you disappointed that you couldn't run out the clock with that last possession that you had? And was that just not uh, an opportunity there with what they were playing defensively? Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I'm disappointed. Of course, would like to have loved to have ended the game right there. But I mean, they had packed it all in, you know, after about the fourth drive of the game. And, you know, we hit two huge runs with everybody in the box. I mean, that's not going to, I don't know that you're going to continue to do that versus cover zero everyone in the box. So it was just difficult to try and find ways to creatively run the football into those looks. It's, you know, it's, it's hard. I'm curious about Malachi. You know, he had over 150 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Um, hadn't, he'd been sprinkled in there a little bit in the past couple of games. But what did you like from him this week in practice? And, you know, he got a lot of snaps today. Yeah, he just continues to get better. I mean, he's shown up in, in fall camp. He's shown up through, through the early part of the season. You know, the thing for that is, is, is beginning to trust him without the ball in his hands. And, protections and those types of things. He's he's made huge strides there and you know he has a good feel for running the football and you know he's somebody that we made a concerted effort this week to to get in there and, and hand him the ball and and see see what happened. 
what happened right before the half and the confusion that was going on there? Well, they they were running their field goal unit on and then stopped and ran their offense on. And the rest allowed us to, to get our stuff straight there, right? Because we subbed for a field goal block. But they didn't have 11 guys on the field. And then they ran two more on, on off the offense. And then they didn't let us get things straightened out. Like they didn't have enough guys on the field and they just run two guys on. And so, you know, we're supposed, they're supposed to hold the ball for us to figure out what the heck's going on. And they didn't, so we took the timeout. You know, you guys obviously lost three straight and the goal kind of last December with you coming out and, and we was saying you guys wanted to make progress and st take step forwards. Do you feel like you guys are running out of time to show that? I mean, do you feel this team, what you've put on the field? I'm worried about giving these guys a chance to win, okay? I'm not we ain't going down that road, okay? So everybody up and down that hallway is selling out to go give these kids a chance to win. So I'm not worried about any of that, okay? So we can't be focused on – Things we can't control. What we can control is our attitude and our effort. And our kids have been incredible with all of that. And our job now is to get them to do the exact same thing for next week. Uh, in terms of Jermaine Waller, he gave it a try. Did he just kind of re-aggravate it? Didn't see him, I think, after the first quarter. Yeah, he couldn't, couldn't go. Justin, I know you like you always enjoy running the scout team offense. I'm curious. The offense seemed like it had a bit of a spark this week. Did did you help out with the, the actual offense a little bit more this week, or was it the same thing? Yeah, I was over there a little more. Anybody else for coach? Thank you, coach. <laughs>